Hi everybody, my name's Annette. I am a librarian here at JCU. And today I wanted to give you a quick video on how to find and reference images using APA 7. So finding images online is fairly easy, but the images that are online are usually subject to copyright, which means that the copyright holder may not want you to use the image, even if it is for your assignment. So it's important to get into the habit of finding images which allow you to use them without needing to get permission from the copyright holder. So the websites I've list listed uh, on the left-hand side, Pixabay, Pexels and Unsplash, are examples of these kinds of websites. They often say that the attribution of the image is not required as they have already made agreements with the content creators about how their images will be shared. Um, however, because we use APA style, we must attribute the author both in text and in the reference list. So I wanted to show you uh, two places where you can go for more information about this generally. Number one, the APA 7th guide, which I hope you're all familiar with from the JCU library website, as well as another guide that we have on open educational resources, which actually lists uh, another bunch of useful websites uh, for you to look for images on. So let's go and have a look at um, the JCU library website. And I'll just grab it up for you on the screen. So you can see here we've got JCU library. Again, like I mentioned, you should be familiar with the APA guide. I recommend you having this bookmarked. There is a section on the APA Summit's guide about how to reference images. So we'll go to images, figures, and tables, and then using visual works in assignments. So there's some information here, and I'll be working with this top one here for online images. So images that we find on the internet. Uh, please make sure that you uh, have this guide open when you are looking for those types of resources. The other guide that I wanted to mention was the Open Educational Resources Guide or OER guide. If you just type in OER into the tab, it'll take you there. And what we're looking for is images. So I mentioned, you know, Pexels, Pixabay, Unsplash as places where you can get uh, images from with upfront licensing. So it tells you how you use it. There are some great ones here. So especially this icons and clip arts page. So the noun project and vexels with a V uh, is very useful for students if you don't want, you know, a photograph. We also have some health and medical uh, places listed for you to have a look at as well. So I mentioned that Pexels was one of the websites where you can go to. And essentially this is the Pexels website. So if you wanted pictures, um, on any topic, you just type in your keywords. So I did exercise and I could come down and find uh, some relevant pictures here related to exercise. I've found one on uh, a woman tying up her shoes. So I found this picture. I want to use it for my assignment. I just click on it and I download it. And the information that we need to format our reference is available down here under info. So if you remember what we need to format a reference, we need uh, the title of the picture. So that's woman lacing up her gray and pink Nike low top athletic shoe. We have a date, 2017, so the year that this picture was taken. And we have the author's name as well as the URL at the top. So all of this information is here and is upfront ready for you to use. So let's go back to our PowerPoint slides. And if we look at how to reference this picture in text, I have the picture on my screen. I have figure one. So this is the first uh, image that I'm referencing in my assignment. I put figure one, then underneath that, there is in italics, the title of that picture, which we've just found on the Pexels website. So woman lacing up her gray um, shoes, it's in italics. I then have the picture. And then underneath that, I have 
the word note in italics, sourced from, and then I've got the author's surname and the year. If we wanted to then put, pop this in a reference list, you can see I've got it listed here. And what you do is that you incorporate it into your uh, reference list as usual. So you don't need to make a separate uh, list for figures or tables or things like that. You just pop it directly into the reference list. So I've got the author's surname and initial. I have the year. I have the title of the work in italics. In square brackets, I have online image because that's what it is followed by Pexels. Pexels is the publisher uh, of this information. And then I have the URL as well. So that's basically how to find and cite an image online. If you do have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us at JCU Library.